So you want to work on a data science or machine learning project, but how do you go about designing, developing, testing, and deploying the solution? Today, we'll talk about the life cycle of a project and we'll explore the process that you will go through when deploying AI systems. And let's get started. To make sure that your solution is useful and has impact, you need to have a blend of business acumen and technical prowess. Your first step is to understand the business problem. This is the foundation of the entire project. Knowing what problem you're solving aligns your data science efforts with the business objectives, ensuring that your work has real-world impact. At this time, you need a strong understanding of the business and ability to mm -hmm. ask the right questions like, what problem are you trying to solve? How important is the problem you're solving? Sample business would include determining where to open new branch locations, how much items you need to keep in your inventory, and how to organize your products in your display shelf. And coming up with the right business questions requires you to have a good understanding of the business. Aside from this, you need to engage stakeholders. Collaborate with those who understand the business context, get their insights because their insights will shape the questions you ask and the data that you will need. Of course, you need to define your success metrics. What the success looks like from the business perspective. This will guide your analysis and model evaluation later on. Make sure your business question is clear and specific. Ensure that your problem aligns with the strategic business goals to avoid pursuing solutions that won't add value. Next step is data collection. Without the right data, you cannot solve the problem effectively. Data collection is about gathering relevant and accurate information to support your analysis. This step includes technical and operational skills so that you know which data to collect and how to interpret the data. Remember that you can get data from internal and external data sources. Internal data might include sales records, HR records, while external data could be sources from social media or even Google Maps. Also, make sure that you check for the data quality in terms of completeness, accuracy, and consistent data because poor data can lead to unreliable results. And always consider the ethical implications and compliance with data protection laws like GDPR. You also need to be aware of any biases in your data that could affect the outcome such as sample bias or selection bias. Next up is Exploratory Data Analysis or EDA. EDA helps you understand the data structure, the patterns, and the tech nominally so that you can form hypotheses. This is a crucial step to uncover insights that can inform your modeling decisions. Technical expertise is the key here, but the ability to interpret these findings in a business context is equally important. Remember, you can always visualize your data. You can use graphs and charts to understand distribution, correlation, and trend in the data. Visualization tools like Matplotlib and Seaborn can be invaluable. You will also need to decide what to do with missing data. Are you going to ignore or assume values for those missing data? Consider normalizing or standardizing data so that you get more effective analysis when dealing with data with different scales. Watch out for outliers because they can significantly impact the result of your analysis as well as correlated features that might lead to multicollinearity in your models. Step 4 is for modeling. This is where the data transform into actionable insights. Choosing the right model impacts the accuracy and effectiveness of your solution. This requires technical skills and understanding the different algorithms and finding the best algorithm that will work for your given dataset and problem. You'll also be needing knowledge in performing validation techniques like k-validation to ensure that your model performance is robust and not overfitting. You'll need to spend time in feature engineering to enhance model performance and possibly creating new features from existing data that can provide significant value. Be cautious of overfitting your model because your model may work well on the training data but might fail in the real world when it has seen new set of data. Step 5 is interpretation. This step translates the data into business insights. It's about understanding what the model is telling us and how it can be applied to solve the original problem. Here, the technical insights needs to be married with business. You will also need to have a good understanding of the different metrics to measure your model's performance. Metrics like accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 measure are essential to make sure that your models will perform properly. And of course, you need to interpret this information to your stakeholders that will have business impact and avoid any technical jargons. Step 6 is communication and visualization. Communicating your findings effectively is crucial for decision making. Stakeholders must understand the insight to take informed actions. Here, communication skills are important. You need to translate the complex data into actionable insights that can resonate with business leaders. 
Using data storytelling techniques can make your insights more engaging and relatable. Make use of visualizations to simplify complex data and use tools like Power BI or Tableau to create interactive dashboard. Customize your presentation based on the audience expertise and interest. Focus on what matters to them most. And be mindful of the amount of information that you provide. Make sure that you do not overload them with a lot of mass that they will not be able to make any decisions at all. And the last step is a business decision. This is where the project stakeholders decide on whether to implement the recommendations or not. Decision making requires strong understanding of both the business and technical aspect. Make sure that you provide clear recommendations and actionable steps that are backed by data. Explain the expected business impact and the ethical considerations. And once that's done, always remember that this is a cycle. After the solution has been deployed, you then go back to asking newer questions and finding new problems where AI and data science can be helpful. And there you have it, a framework for tackling AI and data science projects. Remember, mastering both business and technical skills is key to success. They complement each other, ensuring that your project not only deliver insights but also drive business value. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit. Thank you for watching another episode of Artificially Intelligent.